Uh, let's 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 go on into uh, talking about you know what we, what is discovered or things that are discovered during aircraft inspections, right? Mm. Uh, what are the biggest issues that you find? And um, uh, let's even take it a step further and say, if these issues are not fixed, what could happen? Yeah, um, some of the issues and the things that we look for when we perform these inspections and that we change the computer vision to look to identify are like paint defects because paint, paint defects can like depending on how it is, if there's like bubbling on the paint, like that can be an indication that there's water under the paint. And mm -hmm. if there's water on the paint on metal, that can create an issue or fatigue um, and ultimately create fractures and, and rust and things that are really bad to have on an airframe, mm -hmm. right? So you wanna make sure that, you know, that aircraft is painted and coated properly. You're looking for um, stress fractures that happened on the airframe. Um, and if a stress fracture gets too big, um, which we really don't hear a lot of those because they're, thank God, they're, they're, they're caught, could lead to um, depressurization events and, and things like that. So um, we want to just be cautious about those. Um, there's also like missing rivets that, you know, come aboard. And, you know, unless you have like a, I mean, a, a large subsection of that, you know, happening, it's not too dangerous, but you want to make sure that you are, you know, the, the airline or the operator is aware of that and, and repairs those and fixes those rivets. Um, there's lightning strikes, which is, you know, the like, initial use case that, you know, myself and even some of our competitors are identifying those lightning strikes, um, if not identified, can lead to some severe issues with the integrity of this, of the airframe itself. Um, and so those are, those are really interesting to find. They're, they're, I'd say they're rare, but they're not as rare as we think, especially now with the changing climate, um, and thunderstorms striking the aircraft. Uh, by the way, you're, you're completely safe inside of an aircraft. If you're going through a lightning storm, they have static wicks that, you know, lightning goes off one way. Um, but yeah, there's 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 also like dents and things that can happen that can um, impact the um, airworthiness of the aircraft that want to be identified. Uh, you know, uh, now you mentioned you mentioned lightning strikes. I actually was watching a video the other day. Uh, Lufthansa saying something about every time a plane gets struck by lightning, it needs to be extra inspect it basically every is that is that time. true mm -hmm. okay every single time that it's like if you if they a pilot flies through and calls the tower and says hey we've experienced a, a, a strike event a lightning strike event that aircraft is immediately taken out of service to be inspected wow okay that's uh that's nice to know okay um now let's move on to something uh more somber i guess <laughs> In uh in 2018 and 2019, the whole world witnessed uh, two Boeing 737 Max planes crashing. You know, mm -hmm. uh, because of the newly designed ma maneuvering characteristics augmentation system MCAS. MCAS. Everyone knows it as MCAS system. I don't know if this is possible, but I just want to ask: Is it possible to design? aircraft inspection systems to discover manufacturer cost defects for the so specifically for the mcas no that's a software thing it's a software issue um that's something well, yeah it's, it's, it's kind of mixed thing boeing did something that was particularly pretty interesting and not honestly great um they the mcas system relies on the pedostatic tubes to and so those are i'm gonna get to it's basically like sensors to understand the angle of attack so where yeah. where the plane is you know pointed right so uh -huh. typically there's those are redundant there are two of those but boeing kind of put boeing sold it as an option not as a you know a standard feature which was a big reason why this also happened so um so that was the issue with the mcas system um they they and I'm not going to go into too much detail about the design of the, the 737 MAX. That's cool. Um, but with in, in, in terms of looking for manufacturer um, issues, so we focus, and when I say we, like UltraView focuses on the yeah. visual inspection process. Yeah. So, you know, we've been approached by people like Boeing, people like Airbus, for the use of these systems in manufacturing environments. So as these aircraft are rolling off the assembly line, they're being inspected because they're always being inspected to ensure that there's no damages that are, or nothing that occurs or nothing that's out of the, um, you know, tolerance levels um, for a newly built aircraft. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a, that's a place where um, our systems can also sit or like inspection systems can sit or in that manufacturing process. But 
Unfortunately, MCAS, the MCAS was a completely different. Yeah, uh, software issue. Mm. Uh, but okay. Software and a missing component. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I started wondering, right? The planes that crashed weren't being flown for the, for the first time. They've been flown a few times. They were new, but mm -hmm. they've been, they been flown a few times. And then you had pilots who just like were unlucky or maybe didn't study manual to understand it. That was a big issue too. Yeah. So, I mean, as much as Boeing is at fault for what happened the, in these particular airlines because of, you think of like pilot shortages and things like that, they were, the pilots were not trained mm -hmm. enough on the system. Mm -hmm. um, they had, they didn't have enough flight hours on that platform, which you want to have a couple hundred hours on those platforms as you're flying them. And so therefore they had no idea what to do when like MCAS engaged, for mm -hmm. example. So there was, there were a series of issues that happened that led up to those events, but, but yeah, to, to your point. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. You, can you walk, do you, do you remember what, what the real issue was about, uh, I don't know, was it the flaps, not the angle of. So it was something. Yeah. So it pushed the, the angle of attack. It was the angle of attack. So the system would think that the plane was going into a stall. Okay. Like going up, even though the aircraft was not doing that. Okay. And so the, that's the MCAS system would engage. And the reason why this happened is because when they made the MAX, they just pushed the motors further out. So it'd be a little bit more efficient. Uh -huh. Um, which would change the flight dynamics of that aircraft. Okay. Right. So the plane would they it would think that the plane was going up, so the MCAS would push the nose down. Oh. And so when the MCAS pushed the nose down, like the pilots didn't know what was going on and mm -hmm. they didn't know to disengage MCAS. Yeah. Because and that's what would cause the crashes. Okay. So I'm guessing so this goes beyond drone inspection discussions, right? <laughs> but I just want to know, is there a way or to do this or does it exist to um, basically study the behavior of of um, different parts or different components of the aircraft to 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 study it you know whenever the plane lands mm -hmm. to see things to avoid you know maybe maybe a pilot like you know uh, went yeah. through that process and kind of got lucky and said okay i haven't been trained on this but let me disengage this new thing and then was fine and that would have helped you know is there a way to do that in the sky in real time. Well, nothing beats training. Like proper training yeah. actually how to use the platform. Um, in terms of... We're talking about visual inspection of the, yeah. of the plane itself. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, I get this a lot, but no, we don't. Our drones aren't flying with yeah. the aircraft doing the inspections. That's not happening. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool, but no, we're not doing that. Um, Maybe half cameras outside the plane. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, they these, do? these aircraft, I mean, especially the new ones are they're, they're really sophisticated. I mean, okay. they have sensors all throughout that entire platform, okay. right, that are insp that are monitoring that, that aircraft or that airframe. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's not really in terms of, like, the visual inspection process as a whole, you know, in, in my particular case. So, I'm like, I, 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 don't, I don't build, build airframes. 